this is hands down the best game mode ever in Call of Duty history. In any kind, there has been nothing like it. They have combined the two most played game modes ever. Put them into one. <laughs> players, and it's going down. You can get out here, you can do your thing. You can play the objective. You can go hard in the paint capturing and defending. Or if you just want to get out here and be a killer machine, a one-man army, playing to get your kill on, you can do that too. Because regardless of how you play the game, one way or another, you will be helping your team. Man, this thing is just too nasty, players. And I hope it never, I repeat, never gets taken out. Now let's get into it. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jimmy Dean again. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to the Dean Zone. But if you're one of my subscribers or you've been here before, welcome back. <laughs> and you see the class setup right there, players. But that is not why you're here. I'm here to talk about this game mode. Team Deathmatch Domination. This is hands down the best game mode I've ever seen in any Call of Duty. Any Call of Duty ever. They took the two most populated playlists in any Call of Duty, which is always Team Deathmatch and Domination. That's what most players play. That's where most players go to get their game on when they get on the COD. And when they combine these two, I'm telling you, this is the ultimate game mode. For one, it doesn't matter what your playstyle is. Whether you're a rusher, whether you're a crusher, whether you're a camper, whatever your playstyle is, this game mode is made for you. If you are a slayer, a guy that just likes to hold back and defend the objective, whatever you are, however you want to play the game, this game mode is designed for you. This game mode is just about having fun. Because the simple fact is, whether you're holding down a, a flag, whether you're capturing or defending it, you are helping your team. You score points by capturing flags, by defending flags, by holding down the objective. Now hold on, you see this right here, players? You see this right here? Remember it. Take a screenshot. Take a mental note, whatever you have to do. Because that's when your boy got heated. Look at it. I was 9-3, and three, remember that. I had one dude going in, but the rest of my team? The rest of my team, really? But you know what time it is. It's time to activate. This is beast mode. The beast, the beast mode. This is beast mode. The beast, the beast mode. This is beast mode. Mode. And you know what happens when I drop my first enemy? Yo, DJ! <laughs> <laughs> Run up and get done up. But back to what I was saying, man. Real talk. No matter what you're doing, if you're holding down the objectives, your team is scoring points. But also, since it is team deathmatch domination, your team gets points for every kill you get. So you're playing objective all time. So if you just want to run around and get kills, you're still playing objective. You're still being a team player. Whether you just want to defend and capture flags, you're still playing the objective. You're still being a team player. There's nothing you can do in this game mode that is not benefiting your team. Hold on, hold on, I take that back. There is one thing you can be doing that's not going to benefit nobody. Not even yourself. That's camping in the corner. <laughs> but other than that, everything goes, player. You can get out here and go ham. My defense is impregnable. The thing I love about Team Deathmatch the most is you can just run around and strictly go for kills. Be a straight up assassin. He needs some that is the only objective, to get out here and slap these nerves and flush these turds and put your gun skills on the line. Get out here and get your streaks and go ham on these boys. All you want to do is destroy. No. But, hold on. I ain't done. I said I ain't done. There is also the guys that want to play the OBJ. You can do that, man. This game mode has everything built in just for you to succeed. I'm just telling you, players. And the thing I love about Domination More Team Deathmatch, you got more times to own that kill feed. You can rock in more kills. You can go harder in the paint on longer score streaks, longer kill streaks. You can make it rain death upon your enemies. There is no limit to kills. There's no limit to that feed. You can go hard. But hold on. Mama! Mama! 
Here come that man, mama. Oh no, better run, better hide. It is these <laughs> alive! <laughs> I ain't done turning up though. Who's the Highest score streak in the game. <laughs> Making it rain death on these boys. <laughs> Dominating them on that domination. <laughs> Killing them in that death match. It don't get no better than this player. No. <laughs> Like keep it real, what's the most amount of kills you gonna get in team deathmatch? Maybe a 70 banger, maybe 80? But you gotta be balls to the wall player, you gotta have your whole sweatsuit on, sweat band tube socks, everything. But not in this game mode. You can be sweat, you can be a sweat, you can go balls to the wall, or you can sit back, you can outsmart your opponent, you can play methodically, you can use strategy, you can do whatever you want to do to rack up these kills, there is no rush, you can go hard on the paint, I don't know about you player, but I love any game mode where I can get in and get at least 100 kills, you feel me, where are you going to do that in team deathmatch, not if you, especially if you like me running solo dolo, being a one-man army, a one-man killing machine. <laughs> and do you see the comeback on these boys? These boys had us down by like a hundred points. But we grinding. We out here doing a third fizzle. And you see your boy, I stay streaking up on him. Come on, I'm the king of domination. And I'm the king of putting fear in my enemies. And don't you want to do that? Because this game mode is perfect. So you let me know in the comment section, are you feeling this game mode, because I'm telling you right now, in my personal opinion, this is the best game mode ever in Call of Duty history. Just the ability to go on long streaks. Just the, the ability to own that kill feed. The ability to whatever you do, you're always playing the OBJ. You got too many options in this game mode. But there's one option your boy don't have. <laughs> and that's getting put in that kill feed. You see me grinding? I was going hard in the paint. You remember last time your boy, I was 9 and 3 the last time I died. And you see me? What's in my back pocket? Another gunship. Highest score streak in the game, and I'm holding on to it. Because I'm normal on that grind. I'm still out here just slapping these boys. I know I'm getting my gun kills up. They don't want it with me. <laughs> Score streak assassin, fatalitizing, finishing these boys. I don't think you heard me. I'm out here finishing these boys, and when I'm done, I'm gonna fatalitize them. <laughs> Dean Zone. And check this out, man. If you feel in this gameplay right here, right? You feel in this gameplay. This is what I'm gonna do. Let me know in the comment section. Give me your top three things you want to be in the next Call of Duty. Because we all know it's going to be Modern Warfare 4. It's been leaked. It's been played. So let me know what the top three things that is a must-have in that game. Seriously. What do you want to be in the next Call of Duty? What is the three must that you must have to make the game successful, to make the game great? I need to know. I will slap you, man. I will slap the hell out of you. You don't play with me. Because if you tell me, if you tell me this, the first time, as soon as, as soon as we get to 100 comments, I'm going to drop another video for you answering all your comments in the comment section. Real talk, we going to keep it real, man. We going to put it out there. We need Treyarch to know. We need Activision to know. We need Infinity Ward to know. We need the community to know what we want in the next Call of Duty. So let me know, man. Put it in the comment section. I need your top three things, the most important things that you need, that you feel this game is going to need. <laughs> so I'm going to keep my opinion to myself because I don't want to influence anything y'all going to say in the comment section. But real talk, let me know, man. Your boy been grinding. I've been in the lab. I got videos on deck. I'm turned up. I'm ready to go. And look. Look at this. Hold on. Look at this here, y'all. Look. Your boy was grinding. I was about to get that new. I was on a serious grind. I was on a 76 kill streak. Going hard. And who did I get killed by? Real talk. 
A dude I killed 23 times. That was his first time killing your boy. Where did they do that at, player? You see, I'm heated. They definitely don't do it in the team zone. But that's not going to stop my grind. It's not going to stop my shine. I was trying to take it easy on these boys. But if they really want that man again, mama, mama, call that man back, mama. It's time to make it rain on these boys. I am the great Dean Julio. Making it rain is my middle name. I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat your children. My first name is Kill. Last name Feed. <laughs> this is the Dean Zone. Because they are not on my level. AKA the Mean Zone. Make sure you smash that like button for your boy. My style is impetuous. Because my style is impetuous. That crush life, baby. This is why I love this game up. We murdered these boys. As you see me on the ESPN Top 10 once again. Now smash that like button. Hit the comment section up. Let me know as you feel in this game mode and give me your top three must-haves for Modern Warfare 4. Because you see I was on that brutal. So close to that nuke. But your boy, I still dropped 100 plus kills. 101 and 4. Man, I'm out, y'all, man. Peace, love, and hair grease. One. Ding, zone, 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 z